Hello brothers and welcome back to another video. I can finally shout with hype. Everyone is awake. Well, all the kids are in school and stuff now. So yes, what a night. What a night of announcements from Adepticon. The Sinesh stuff really stood out. But the biggest thing with me was where they're going next in the story. And that is what this video is going to be dedicated to about. Because I want to talk about Armageddon. Because Armageddon, for me, is probably the next campaign to go to. It is one of the biggest campaigns, if not the biggest campaign. So much stuff has happened around Armageddon already. So let's jump in and let's get talking. So if you missed the announcement on last night's video from the, um, I was going to say from the stream, from the actual Adepticon reveal, um, basically there's a little blurb of text which says, the future of Warhammer 40,000. And it says, with the second book in the Vigilist series almost upon us, because the pre-orders are this weekend, well it basically comes out this Saturday, eyes turn to the next big thing for Warhammer 40,000. And oh boy, have we got some good stuff coming starting later this year we'll have sorry we'll be exploring the mirrored war zones across the 41st millennium the battle for vigilus was a pivotal one but such is the dire state of the galaxy that it is just one war torn planet on which the fate of the galaxy will be decided the war zones have been brought up as primaris kalgar the return of the despoiler and a huge host of chaos space marines just think of what other war zones could bring. So later this year, we will definitely have some information on the next big campaign. I'm trying to think, when was Vigilus Part 1 released? Was it released in October or November? Um, when was it now? I'm trying to think to myself, and hopefully you guys can help me decide. But it was definitely before the end of the year, last year. Um, before it came out. I'm, I, think, I think it was September-ish. So maybe sometime in September... They could redo another campaign. What that campaign will be is anyone's guess. This, I'm personally going to say it's going to be something to do with Armageddon. Because, again, Armageddon is such a huge, massive, massive campaign when it comes to um, the forces involved, the potential of characters returning to that planet, and the planet itself has a massive history. For those of you who don't know, Armageddon is all in all. It was it was it was basically the capital of the Orc Empire. It was renamed Armageddon and um teleported somewhere else um in, in a certain book series. I won't name it. I'll probably I've already spoiled it by now. Actually, it's the Beast of Rises series. You should have read it by now. It's like two years old. Don't blame me if you're not up with the spoilers. So that planet holds massive significance with the orc race. That is what I personally think. They're so attracted to that planet. They want to go back to that planet. They need to get back to that planet because they're driven there by their hunger of going back home. And don't forget about the Primax. Yes, I'm going to talk about Primax. So Armageddon is very, very big when it comes to Primax because it was there where two Primax basically went... MIA, well I say two went MIA, one was banished, so Angron was banished by the Grey Knights in the first war of Armageddon, I'm sure you all know the story by now, but the interesting thing is, during the Great Rift, when the galaxy got split into twain, there was a ritual to try and bring Angron back on that planet, this is where I've always stated, I think the only way for Angron to come back into real space is is through a summoning ritual on Armageddon, since that's where he was banished. So, if Chaos get hold of that planet, then they could potentially bring Angron back. And, you know, Angron on Armageddon, blood for the blood god, oh boy, that would be very, very interesting. Luckily enough for us, the Salamanders stopped the last ritual, and maybe they're keeping a watchful gaze on that planet, just in case any Cornite people want to go back there and try and summon him. And the Primat Vulcan also went MIA on this planet. The last we saw of him, he was fighting a massive beast of an orc, uh, a prime orc, I think we like to call him now. Uh, he he basically like sacrificed himself to try and kill it, um, and that was it. It was it, we 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 never learned the fate of Vulcan, but we all know that Vulcan cannot die. Vulcan is a perpetual. You cannot kill Vulcan. Every time you hit him over the head with something, he just comes back smiling and gives you a nice big hug. So potentially, maybe Vulcan is still alive on that planet doing something 
on that planet waiting for the right time to reveal himself. And there's kind of a connection there as well. If you want to look between the lines, it's only a small little one. But the salamanders were the ones that stopped Angron from being brought back. And their Primarch is Vulcan. Is GW doing some subtle hints? Who knows? I'm just going to say yeah, because why not? So if Warzone Armageddon happened, then what is the potential for new models? Like I discussed, you could potentially do an Angron. You can potentially do a, a Vulcan model. Um, one of the big things a lot of people have been talking about was the lack of model releases for the Orcs when the Orcs got their Codex. I know they got a ton of new vehicles, which were great, awesome, and stuff like that. But there was a lot of complaints that Gaz Skull never got a model. The 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 average boy model is is basically terrible when you compare it to all these latest 40k models and stuff like that. Now, what GW has been doing, as we've seen now, as we've witnessed, is that they do these campaigns, and around these campaigns, they release a ton of models to get people interested in the campaigns, to buy the books, and all that kind of stuff. So I'm thinking, if the Orcs do come back to Armageddon, then there's a potential for a new Gaskell model, which is probably why they left it out in um, the big Orc, or the Orc stuff, and maybe potential for new Orc infantry models as well, which was the reason why they left them out during their launch. And don't forget about the Black Templars as well, brothers. These guys definitely deserve the Codex, and their hatred for the Xenos, for the Orc, their involvement in Armageddon is absolutely massive. Hellbreck was chasing down Gaz Skull, so if Gaz Skull returns to Armageddon, you can bet your bopping dollar Hellbreck is going to be chasing him down and looking for him and trying to purge him, and that could also mean that the return of Grimaldis. Grimaldis could also return in Armageddon. There's so much potential around this planet, and maybe, maybe, just like Kalgar got his primarish treatment and he became this new big boy, maybe Hellbreck will get the Primaris treatment. Maybe Grimaldis will get the Primaris treatment. Maybe they'll both blossom into a beautiful Primaris flower where we can all enjoy. And of course, that means new models, because that's what we want at the end of the day. We want new, awesome new models. And if they do that for the Black Templars, then, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, it looks like I'm going to be starting a Black Templar Force. And on top of that, you have the potential for an Imperial Guard faction as well. Don't forget, the Steel Legion was a really, really big factor when it came to defend Armageddon. Now, we've seen that GW has basically kaput the old Steel Legion models. Maybe that was intended because if Warzone Armageddon does happen, then it's a chance for them to relaunch a brand new new fact well i say a brand new faction a an updated version of a faction of the steel legion for the imperial guard because at the end of the day cadians are cool and all they're nice they're awesome but they they haven't got the personality of the talons the steel legion the vostrians um, and the mordian iron guard these guys have so much personality with their looks and their style and all the lore behind them it really makes them stand out it makes them different and that's what a lot of people go for when they come to modeling they they want to make different styled armies and there's only so much you can do with cadians when it comes to kit bashing without spending an absolutely arm and a leg over like you know the kit bashing stuff so hopefully 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 fingers crossed if warzone armageddon does happen then that will be the introduction of the steel legion in all brand new plastics and all that kind of amazing stuff and maybe this is the potential to actually bring in the sisters as well on armageddon because we all know the sisters of battle are getting a big launch when it comes to uh, this, this this year's launches of uh, armies and stuff like that so maybe they could do like kind of a box set around armageddon where it's sisters fighting orcs how cool would that be i don't think we've ever had that matchup before have we i'm trying to think right now no i i, I really can't think if we've ever had a sisters verse or lineup so i think if they if they really want to blow some people away then just like what they did with shadow spear with um uh, the primaris and the the chaos stuff they could go out and do a sisters of battle versus orc box set and maybe that's where you get like some you know big hq characters or the new boy models in the new you know the standard sister models um and all that kind of awesome stuff if gw really want to blow us away I, I would definitely buy that. I'm, I'm not going to lie. I, I would definitely invest into that, just as long as it's not the easy to build, because I've had an absolute nightmare with my Shadow Space stuff. It's just such a pain in the ass. All right, Chaperunios, that is me done for another video. I love a bit of story, me. Come on, GW. Stop teasing me. 
and give me the details. Hopefully at Warhammer Fest, um, which is in Coventry, we'll get some we'll get some more details on what's happening and stuff like that. It was kind of a big AOS showing tonight at Adepticon, but that doesn't stop me. As long as they just give me my little 40k fix, I'm going to be a little happy chapper. Right, thanks for watching. Please leave your comments below. What do you think is going to happen? you think it's going to be Warzone Armageddon? Do you think it's going to be another Warzone? Let me know, and we can have a nice little discussion down there. Thanks. See you in a bit. Have a good day, and enjoy yourself. See you now, and bye-bye.